Welcome to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. Just thought I'd take the dog for a walk today. Uh, many, many requests to bring Bay out on another mission. Uh, if you haven't met Bay, he's my, my dog, my Hungarian Vizsla. Uh, I've had lots and lots of requests to bring him out. Problem is, when I bring him out, he tends to bugger off all the time, so I turn my back and he's gone. So hence the reason why I don't bring him out a lot, but uh, today, before we get out of the house, bring a camera and uh, take some photographs We're down here on the Waikato River. Today's subject is all about positioning. The importance, uh, the importance of positioning, getting into position, talking about methods and techniques that will just set you aside from the, the majority of photographers, the herd if you like. So uh, that's today's subject, uh, it's all about positioning. But before we get into that, I'm just here just to take a couple of pictures. There's um, this, this rickety old, what I'm thinking is an old white baiting pontoon of some sort. It's been here for years. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be surrounded by water. Unfortunately, uh, the the water level here on the river is a bit low at the moment, so it didn't pan out like I was hoping. I'm going to take some pictures of that anyway, and then we're going to get back to this topic today of getting into position, the importance of getting into position, and what I mean by that. came down, down here today to take some pictures of this pontoon uh, which is over there but I just I'm really interested with this post or couple of posts here which um, the water settled right down here now there's some nice clear water here to photograph so taking a few pictures of this hey um before I go on if you want to support my channel uh, I've demonetized the channel at the moment uh, or this video rather and the reason for that is I want you to enjoy the experience so um, if you'd like to support the channel um, you can do that by buying my ebook titled Mscapes, which is all about pictures with this camera here and my Leica M9. Go and check that out. Uh, it's at a reduced price of 10 New Zealand dollars, which is next to nothing in uh, normal money. Uh, and also my book, uh, Scenes from the Black Sand, which is my physical book, uh, available for 30 New Zealand dollars from my website. I'll put a link up here for that. Go and check it out, please. And uh, please buy one of the two if you want to support the channel and uh, carry on seeing videos like you're seeing today. Uh, I'm going to carry on with this, take this picture here, and then we're going to talk more about uh, the subject matter today, or the uh, title of the video, which is getting into position. Let's carry on. Getting into position, um, this is a subject that I think I might might have touched base on in previous videos on this channel, but uh, no, nothing in too depth. Um, and I've kind of been giving it a bit of thought lately, and thought it might make um, a good topic for a short video. So here we go. I think one of the most important things uh, about photography and improving your photography and, and setting yourself aside from others is to, is to get into position. What got me thinking about this was uh, Robert Kappa, I guess best known for his wartime photography. I thought to myself, well, if I was put in the same position as Robert was and had, 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 had gotten into that um, same position as him as being a wartime photographer, surrounded by violence, surrounded by 
devastation surrounded by things out of the norm. How would I perform as a photographer? And um, I kind of thought to myself, you know, I, I back myself to, 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 to come up with the goods. And then it got me thinking more in depth about this. And I thought to myself, well, you know, maybe that's what sets the really, really good photographers aside from the average photographer. It's the ability to get into position, to put yourself into those positions that make you create amazing images, amazing photography, pictures that will last forever in, in, in people's minds. It's that ability to go one, two, three or four steps into places that the average person wouldn't go, couldn't go. Just imagine, imagine that great picture of the warrior, I guess, that's frozen in time the moment that he's he's being shot. Imagine taking that picture. Imagine being in position for that. Imagine the work that it must have taken to get into that position. Um, imagine the work it must have taken to be brave enough to put yourself in the front line. Getting into that position probably was 80% of the work. Taking the picture was probably the extra 20%. The um, the hours and hours of convincing people that he's you know to get into the front line, to have the trust of the people that he was working with, um, all that passion that made him get there. And I think the photographers that set themselves aside from everybody else are the ones that do work hard at getting into position. Whether it be a landscape photographer, as an example, it's the people that just take the extra effort to walk the extra mile, to capture that image, to get the light, to, to get up early enough, to drive miles and miles. Getting out of your comfort zone, that's what I'm talking about. That's the interesting thing for me, it's the effort. A video I watched about a year ago uh, by a guy called Ben Starley, he's got a channel called Adventure in Art. I'll put a link up below for the video, but uh, a really good example again of, of somebody working really hard to get into position. Uh, Ben's got a great channel, uh, I love his work, he's done some fantastic portraiture work. And uh, in this video Ben was wanting to do uh, more portrait work, he was wanting to get a studio and uh, didn't uh, see the benefit in going out and hiring a space. So thought long and hard about how he could get a space that would um, cater to his specific needs and ended up finding this spot under a bridge and uh, made this um, a cool spot for him to go and take portraits and the video explains how he grew his you know um, portraiture for portfolio he grew his client base um, just by thinking differently it's interesting because you know when you start to do these kinds of things you start to bring in other creative people you, you, you know getting in front of creative people uh, really does elevate your own work uh, because creative people bring in uh, you know they just bring to the table so much creativity and um, really are able to enhance what you do 10 times you know and you know go back to Robert Capra I think you know as an example like you know spending time to you know get out there create amazing photography things from there just you know the Picasso pictures um, as an example you know you know just just the result of collaborating with with creative people uh, Platon the, 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 the portrait photographer I just think about people like him you know still shooting with a very simple setup setup that he started with from from day one and, and continues with that but you know building a reputation working hard to get into position to put himself in front of other creative people powerful people politicians um, creators uh, artists and that sort of stuff and um, again I still think you know look at look at his work and I think to myself if I had the ability to get into position like that could I come, come up with the a similar kind of a similar kind of end product and you have to back yourself to do that I think I think I could but again the difficult the difficult part of that is to building that reputation all of the the important work is, is getting there into position and um, once you do the groundwork the hard work the results flow they follow and I'm, I'm, I'm um, convinced of that Hope you hope you agree or disagree. I don't know, <laughs> but that's kind of my thoughts on that. And and I just thought that I'd make this video today and talk about that. I think I, I see a lot of YouTube creators, for instance, talking about uh, you know the usual stuff: cameras, settings on the camera, how they do this, how they do that, technically. But uh, you know, talking about the other things, the peripherals uh, of photography, like this idea and this notion of getting into position, I don't see a lot of that. So I thought. I'd talk about it today and uh, hopefully you get what I want on it you understand what I'm talking about uh, and you've learned something 
Uh, that's all for this episode. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Again, if you want to support the channel, go to my uh, shop. Link up here for that. Uh, buy the ebook, uh, or go and grab my book, Scenes from the Black Sand. Before we finish today, I want to share some pictures that I've taken this week, um, over the last couple of days, last week or so. Um, check these out. Hopefully, you'll enjoy them. I've got to go now. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Hi, from New Zealand. Goodbye. Thank you, and you take care.